you kids. If I told you once, I've told you a million times to stop watching the telly and get cracking those books. Well, maybe not a million times. That would be 1,000, thousand. Oh, well, as long as you're here, you might as well watch another episode of Dirk Niblick and the Math Brigade. In this story, Dirk doesn't make an appearance for a couple of minutes, so don't start crying when you don't see him. Today, we begin with Dirk's neighbor, Wallace C. Beasley. He's on cue at the National River Bank, hoping to withdraw some money from his savings account. May I be of help? Yes, she's may, Toots. Fill up this here sack. With what? Try money. What a unique concept. Are you perchance a bank robber? Yes, I am. And my mother is very embarrassed about the whole thing. She wanted me to be a consultant. Well, here's your money and have a nice day. Thank you. Ta-ta. Hello. What do you want? I'd like to withdraw $5. I'll need three pieces of ID and your mother's maiden name. Oh, the other person wasn't asked such torturous questions. The other person just happened to be a bank robber. Well, aren't you supposed to set off an alarm when you've been robbed? Oh, how silly of me. Were there any witnesses? Ah, uh, yes, Your Worship. I witnessed the ordeal, as did the teller. He fainted. You have to come downtown with us. We are downtown. It's just a euphemism we on the force use to indicate we want you to come to police headquarters. Well, what, what about the teller? We'll question him when he comes, too. Uh, see you later, Bonwit. You say you actually saw the car the alleged perpetrator used to make his escape? Yes, and I got the license plate number, uh, up to a point. It was UM6, uh... You know, it would be a big help if you could remember the other four digits. Yes, you see, that way we could just tell our police officers to look for that car, stop it, and arrest the driver. Oh, I feel like such a dipstick. UM6. Uh, one other thing these tired old eyes noted, no digit was repeated. So all the digits were different. Yes, that must certainly give you something to go on. What? Well, we know the number starts with six, right? Yes. So the number could be six, one, two, three, four. Yes, or six, five, four, three, two. Or six, two, four, two, nine. No, you've repeated a digit, the two. So six, three, four, two, nine. Holy moly, how many combinations are there? Now, let's use our noodles. What? Yes. Think. We can use combinatorics. I liked it better in the old days when we just walloped the bejabbers out of the witness until he remembered. Yeah. Moving right along, there were ten choices, zero through nine, for this first digit. And we know it was a six. Yes, and we know the digit six is not repeated. So for the second digit, there are only nine choices, right? Right, only nine. And only eight for the third digit because it can't be six or the same as the second digit. You're getting it, Sherlock. And only seven for the fourth digit, a mere seven. And for the last digit, six choices. So, if we find this product, we'll know how many combinations there are for our missing license plate. But, gentlemen, is that the only question you should be asking to find a getaway car? What are you? Dirk Niblick of the Math Brigade. I knew my rights, so with my one allotted phone call, I rang up my neighbor and asked him to drop around, perchance to help. Perhaps you should have asked some other questions. Think about it. And you think about it, too. Dirk may be on to something. Or he may just be blowing his own horn again. We'll be back in what will seem like no time at all. I knew you'd be back. You're not the sort to leave Dirk Niblick in an untenable position. When we last left Dirk, he was suggesting that the local constabulary was messing up. Let's join them and see. As I figure it, Lieutenant Niblick, if we simply multiply 9 times 8 times 7 times 6, we'll come up with the product. You will indeed. Let's try it. 9 times 8 is 72. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 7 times 72 is... Ah, uh, pardon me, Lestrade. I'll take over from here. 7 times 72 is 504. And six times 504 is 3,024. Lieutenant, you have taught your neighbor well. Have I? What does 3,024 represent? That's how many license plate numbers we'll be looking for. We're using combinatorics, Lieutenant Niblick. I should think that a mathematician of your stature would have known that. 
But what will you do with this information? Send it to your patrol cars? Of course, and ask them... Ask them what? Ask them, uh, ask them, uh... I get your drift, Lieutenant, which is something I swore I'd never do, but when you're in the cartoon biz, it's any cell in a storm. <laughs> you found an answer to one question, officer. Are there other questions you might have asked? I don't know. Like what? For example, did you ask the color of the car? Red. No, red. Was it a two-door or a four-door getaway car? Two-door. No. Were there any other distinguishing characteristics about the vehicle? It was a convertible, the radio antenna was broken, the right rear fender was gone, and it had a bumper sticker which read, My dog has fleas. We didn't ask those questions. And the driver steered with a limp. Armed with that information, you'll be able to make your list of numbers even shorter. Of the 3,024 cars that begin with UM6, most of them won't be red convertibles. It will help you in your search considerably, I'm sure. Here's the computer printout. Now ask the computer to give us this information. A red convertible with license number UM6. Well, I can't tell you how impressed I am with your common sense, Lieutenant. Try. No. Why didn't you tell the police about the car? They didn't ask. Well, I think there's a lesson to be learned here, neighbor Beasley. If you want to get good answers, you have to ask good questions. Oh, you stunned me to the quick, let me tell you. Oh, my! Look there, Lieutenant! It's nothing, Mr. Beasley, just a red convertible with the license plate number UM62497. A car with no fender, a broken antenna, and a bumper sticker which reads, My dog has fleas. Sound familiar? It does ring a bell distantly. <coughs> Throw down your arms, you leper. The jig is up. I'm making a citizen's arrest. You have wronged society, and I am going to read you your rights. You have the right to be arrested by a major cartoon character. If you give up that right, you may show up in a Saturday morning network show, thereby humiliating members of your entire family. It would appear... I'll take it from here, Lieutenant Niblick. It would appear that justice has been done. And by golly, for one, I feel pretty darn good about it. We'll be back soon with another spiffy adventure of Lieutenant Dirk Niblick of the Math Brigade. And his faithful neighbor. Uh, yes. And his faithful neighbor, Wallace Beasley. Wallace C. Beasley. Wallace C. Beasley. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, uh, didn't you used to date my Aunt Fern? <laughs> <laughs>